Good day YouTube. I'm going to show you how I set up my Esheen 250 racer clone of the Florian 250 racer with my old TGY9X transmitter running ER9X firmware. Now I bought this used and it came with this nice little fly sky 8 channel transmitter so I'm going to go ahead and use it. I believe he's got it plugged into the PWM slot on the flight controller so I'm just going to continue using that. And we've got the channels for uh, cables for uh, aileron, elevator, throttle, and rudder, AETR. And then I knew we were going to need three more channels uh, for flight modes and LEDs and such. So we have five, six, and seven. I'm going to show you how those correspond to the TGY9X transmitter. All right, let's go ahead and get our old transmitter into play here. Go ahead and turn it on. your 9x software and we will delete model number two since we won't be needing that just go down here Dun, delete this model long press oh all right so let's go down and create the new model and pop over to five, six, and seven. There's our AETR set up on one, two, three, four. I'll we'll pop over here to five, long press. I happen to know that this switch right here is our ID switch, ID zero, ID one, and ID two. So we're gonna use that. Our source is gonna be full. Um, since it's zero, the top position is also gonna be zero. And now we select our switch. ID zero. Exit that and we show it here. I'll just get that down to a zero. Fast fingers. All right. And we'll go in add the next position. Wait, it's going to source will be full. Um, weight will be 50. Goodness gracious. Let's pay attention. 50. This is the middle position. This is going to be ID 1. All right. So top is 0, middle is 50. And now we'll put in the last position. Long press on menu. Full. Uh, last position is, let's see, 0, 50, 100. And switch ID 2, 0, 1, 2. Exit. All right, now we're going to go ahead and set up channel six and long press on menu. Um, the source this time will be, uh, sorry, still full, weight of 100. The switch this time will be the aileron. I'll just keep these in line. This will be five, six, and seven. So we'll put this on the aileron switch. And lastly, channel 7, long press on menu, and source will be full, and switch will be, I happen to know this one here is the gear channel. This next one in line, you can see gear is pointing to that switch. All right, and so we'll pop down to the gear exit. All right, so now we can see in our mix, we've got AETR, channel 5, three positions, channel 6, channel 7. If we exit this and go look at, let's see, we've got a... This uh, down arrow on the left will get us to um, the monitor. So now we can see uh, rudder, uh, the throttle, the aileron, and the elevator. Then for our switches, we see top, middle, bottom. And one more time. Top, middle, bottom. 
on this guy here. We're going to move to the aileron switch. Great. Now we're going to move to the gear switch. This, this one right here. That happens to be number seven. That'll be for the LED lights. All right, we're on our way. Okay, once again, the transmitter is on. We do have power going to the Esheen 250. It's also plugged into the laptop. The flight controller is plugged into the laptop. Transmitter is on, and we can look at our flight mode settings. There is our three position switch being activated there. Nothing fancy at all. I plan to install beta flight here in just a few minutes. I've uh, already flown the model, it flies well, do need some adjustment on the PIDs. And um, we'll go ahead and demonstrate the channel 7 LED switch. Flipping that twice gets us all the various colors and it will cycle through. There we go. And that about does it. I think that Libra Pilot's been covered very well on YouTube. We can see that the flight position switch works. We're getting remote control input. We can see that the aileron's working, the throttle's working. I've set up the arming, and that's about it. Let's go ahead and install Betaflight, and I appreciate you watching the setup of the ER9X software, the old TGY9X transmitter with the Esheen 250. All right, we're gonna live dangerously and see if we can get this firmware upgraded. Let's go ahead and click on Rescue. We've got 20 seconds to plug in the flight controller on the Esheen 250. We've got an option to open up our firmware, our beta flight. Yeah, stuck it on the desktop. And I think we've got to tell it that we know what we're doing and flash. Beta flight should be loaded on there. Upload successful. I believe we just want to disconnect and then we'll go check beta flight. All right, the beta flight download was successful. Let's add it to Chrome. Let's plug our eSheen in and see if we can connect. We'll all find this out together. Well, how about that? Successfully upgraded to beta flight. Glad you guys could be here to witness that. That's it. Thanks for watching.